Well, happy Monday, everybody. What we're looking at here are two Hydrovacs. They are the vacuum assisted master cylinder uh, for the Chevy one and a half ton truck. This rusty one we're looking at is an original that I scrounged off a truck and I've been told that it cannot be rebuilt. Um, kits are not available. <clears throat> This nice new shiny one here uh, is from my buddy's truck and uh, it came from a place in Sacramento and um, it's a common hydrovac um, for the one to two ton trucks. This shiny one uh, is just like the one that I have in my Chevy and uh, mine still works. I'm very happy that uh, to know that um, it can be rebuilt because this this is a remanufactured um, hydrovac. Uh, it's a little little pricey, but uh, it's worth it because you know these things are becoming harder and harder to find. Anyway, what I need to do is build a bracket like that, like this one here that bolts here and here so that I can mount it this hydrovac this is how it will sit uh, in the frame um, in the chassis rather sorry and uh, I'm not sure which side I'm gonna build it for but uh, I'm gonna figure it out so um, I think the one in my truck is only has uh, one mount on it and I can't I can't I don't want to modify these these J hooks and the can itself is pretty light the balance point is right there so if I make one one mount for up here and uh, maybe a brace to go back to the other hole um, in the back end like this one has uh, two brackets maybe I'll make a, a third leg to extend back uh, to one of the two holes in the back in the chassis and that'll that'll prevent uh, any parallel to frame vibrations so I stopped and I got some steel at a, at a place pretty easy um, just gonna have to use my kidneys uh, the ones between my ears and uh, crunch it and look at it and think about it and then glue everything together with the uh, wrong way with the old wire glue machine so Let's get started. Okay, so here's one of the the L angles I purchased today. Let's see if this thing will focus. I zoomed in to focus on the table of the of the uh, drill press. So I don't know if he's live still, but I want to say thanks to. Ray Bryant, who was my high school metal shop instructor, he showed me how to sharpen drill bits, and uh, I drilled this first hole. And it's let me let me zoom out. All right, so I drilled this first hole. That's better. And uh, the drill bit didn't like it. And you can see there's a, f a flare out the back side. So I went ahead and sharpened it up on my grinder. And uh, you know, it just saved so much money. Good drill bits are expensive. So another thing, you know, I know a lot of guys will watch this 
this type of content no never hang on to the material with your hands because a drill bit catches it's going to rip it out of your fingers and then you have problems <laughs> and that just slid right through the steel on that one so um, I'm going to change out to my deburring tool here. And I'm just going to deburr the holes a little bit. So I'm going to turn the camera around here. Here's what we have so far. Zoom back out. Okay, so the front of the hydrovac this is the master cylinder that's going to point toward the end uh, to the back end of the vehicle so I'm going to have one here like this one here like this they'll both be parallel not like this or like this I got to get them square and then I'll take this bar stock here or flat stock and weld something in like this so that it's stable I may have even gone a step too fast Maybe I'll weld them here, or weld it here, but anyway, uh, that's what it's going to look like, my hand's in the way, but so, yeah, similar to that, and uh, there's a... Uh, threaded stud on the back side of this hydrovac that I'll build another mount for. I'll show it to you right now. See where the the nut is? Right there. So then another one's going to come off the frame this way and that'll prevent vibration like this against the vehicle and everything's going to be awesome. Okay, so continuing forward, I got to get rid of these gloves. The oil in this rubber makes everything slick. So we have six and three sixteenths inches. Six 
center to center of these holes. So let me set that up. Shoot, nope. Don't forget you burned an inch, five and three sixteenths. size six and seven sixteenths so I want to go a little short oh, sorry about that Try getting that sucker off barehanded. Anybody ever been around blackberry bushes? Love the blackberries in the summertime. They're beautiful, they're sweet. But you gotta pay the price. Those lovely stickers, thorns that they have that are nine miles long sharper than a surgeon's scalpel.
All right, so there's the first part of it. Um, I'm going to go back over here and in the back. I think my wire speed was too fast. Um, I'll go back. I'll grind them down and go back over it and make it prettier weld. And um, <clears throat> let's see. Wow, even my vice grips are warm. Perfect. That fits on there very well. Not bad for a shade tree mechanic. Anyway, I gotta let that cool off a minute. And then I'll figure out the back end here. Alright guys. This was a lot, a lot more simple than I thought. Um, I built the front mount and bolted it to the hydrovac, and then simply used my torpedo level on the bench, got her level by blocking it up down there. I measured from the top end of this bracket, which is here, measured from the top end of the bracket, go the other way, to the center of the, the stud, cut this off, and now I'm going to weld them together. And that makes a three-point bracket. I'm pretty well pleased about that and uh, it's gonna be strong it won't vibrate and we'll be good to go all right let's have a look so I'm finished uh, I ground out some welds and re-welded them uh, don't know what my problem was but they're better uh, maybe I don't know, maybe this is cold rolled steel and I didn't get it hot enough, but uh, the Hydrovac sits, you know, the table's not that level this way, but this direction, it's pretty darn level. Um, the mounts came out really well, oh that's why, I got nuts and bolts in the bottoms of the mounts so it's not going to sit level now. This thing's going to be mounted to the frame in this, on the inside of the driver's side chassis. It's going to be mounted in this configuration, um, facing the rear end of the truck. This end facing the rear end of the truck. And uh, you know that just people change these things have changed these things out over the years, and they throw away the original mounts, and you just gotta. Figure something out. Use your brain, tape measure, cut off wheel, a welder, you know, and you can you can repair stuff. It's not that hard. Um, sometimes, yeah, it seems like it is, but if you slow down and think about it, you can you can accomplish anything. And if you can think it up, I'll bet it's on YouTube. So, uh. The brakes on the Chevy are really over-engineered. Um, let's go take a quick look at my truck. I will never drive. I will never drive this thing to the capacity with the capacity that's 
supposed to be carried in the bed, which is one and a half tons, 3,000 pounds of cargo. I will never put that much weight in the back. There may be, at some time, 500 pounds, maybe, maybe. You know, we're talking uh, without winch, 7,985 pounds as she sits right there. So you gotta have good stopping power. And that's why these Hydrovacs are so important to have in line with your brake system. It's better to be over-engineered and capable than to not have the braking power there and get into a collision because that truck will bend today's cars like you wouldn't believe and that's just a bad day all around for everyone anyway thanks for watching the video and uh there's a guy over on <laughs> another channel that i found great name for a channel his name's zane at the hodgepodge dodge garage as he says now that you've watched me do something why don't you go out and fix something yourself and if you need help leave a comment i'll, I'll be happy to help if i can all right you guys stay safe out there later